What's up, y'all boy? Do we have a video for you today? First off, I only partner with non-woke sponsors. I haven't heard this many good reviews from people that are just letting me know about stuff from pretty much anybody that we work with whatsoever. Backyardbutchers.com slash buddy. You're going to get 20% off your order. It just feels amazing to know the beef was grown right here in America. It was raised right here in America and ain't injected with hormones or any of that crap. It just saves you the peace of mind. There are kind of people, I promise you, would not be telling you about them. Backyardbutchers.com slash buddy. Link is below. All right, y'all, we've said it before as a joke, but I'm saying it as absolute truth and being as real as I possibly can with you. If you're still in New York City at this point, you're completely on your own. You are no longer in an area that is protected by the United States military, by the United States government, Forget it. It's all an illusion that you're living in. We're not coming in to get you when the SHTF, okay? We ain't coming in to get you because it's too dangerous for us. And we pretty much feel like you have already signed a bonding contract saying you are there because you are ready to accept the consequences. New York City is not America. What we're going to get into today is how people are getting kicked out of their own dadgum houses and even being arrested in some places in New York City simply because of this new squatter's right thing that they got going on and the criminals are being protected, and the taxpayers are actually being penalized. It's nothing new, it's just actually getting implemented at this point. So it all started with two videos. The first freak I'm gonna play over my shoulder here is this illegal immigrant from Venezuela who is specifically laying out, speaking in Spanish in the video, how you can squat legally, how you can go in as soon as they're out of there, and how you can get rights and probably even have the actual rightful owner uh, thrown out. This is sickness number one. Sickness number two is this lady over here with a million dollar home and watch this whole thing play See out this? for a second. This guy just literally broke down my door, broke through myself and my daughter to get in here. This guy just forced himself into my house. No, he did not. Yes, he did. No, he did. And so did you. Yeah. You broke through the front door. Officer. The man called the police on her. So why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. No. Being arrested. For what? For being, a for being in my house. For being in my own home. Yo, this is exactly what happens when you have an entire city who believes in imaginary genders. They also believe that they have imaginary rights to your house that you paid money for. And you can't just sit there and embrace 1% of madness and say it's okay for American society because what happens when it grows to 15% madness? 50, 75, what happens when everybody's nuts and belongs in a dadgum mental asylum? Y'all, I can now understand how the Gestapo were able to carry out Nazi orders. You look at those police back then and you're thinking, how in the world could they actually carry out those orders? Well, it's our job. We were just following orders. No, you're weak. That's how they carried it out. And that's how these New York police officers are carrying it out now. Did it ever occur to anybody in New York City that sometimes you have to flip the script when evil is in power? Any real New York City cop would evict these squatters and arrest them for trespassing. You know, what the hell could the leadership actually do in New York City if the entire police department took action against the squatters? Not a damn thing. The leadership in New York City couldn't do nothing, but you won't stand up to them. Here's the thing. What they don't show is how the squatters will absolutely strip your home down to bare bones. When the owner gets it back, everything is pretty much removed. Everything is stripped. All your possessions are damaged. You don't even want it back at that point. See, the sad thing is this woman I just showed you over here, she's going to have to go to court for several, several months, pay a lawyer, take time off of work, and even if she wins, that squatter is guaranteed going to strip her house down to nothing and damage the living hell out of it. Now, y'all ready for the flip side? DeSantis down in Florida just signed a law protecting homeowners from squatters. As of July 1, police can immediately remove a squatter from their property, and if he can't show proof that he rents from that house where he's at, he's gone. The police are just going to take him away immediately. It's also a felony if the squatter causes more than $1,000 in property damage, which it should be if it causes a dollar in property damage, but we got to start somewhere. Now, I'm always trying to think a few steps ahead, okay? We have Castle Doctrine down here in Mississippi. I ain't worried about a dadgum thing, but if you don't have Castle Doctrine, here's what you do. Uncle Buddy's going to help you out. Y'all ready? If you find squatters living in your home, say you're in one of these terrible, terrible places, what you got to do is wait till they're not home, write your friend a lease. Write your friend a lease. Then get your friend to go break into your house, move in, and when the squatter tries to come back into your home, they will be breaking in. Your friend can then call the police and have that squatter arrested for breaking and entering. Your friend, as the tenant, is going to have more rights, sadly, into your home than you do as the owner. That's how you fix it. Now, down here where I live, I mean, let's just be honest, he'll be shot sure as hell. But if you want to look at the rule of law, 
you have to actually occupy it for over 10 years. So Manhattan's saying 30 days? That's complete insanity. Imagine you went into a bar with your wife. Y'all are at a table, okay? You say, honey, I'm going to go up to the bar and I'm going to get us a couple drinks. It's a busy night and it takes you a bit. By the time you get back, because your back's been turned, some guy comes in and sits down next to your wife. When you get back to the table, there's a bunch of cops there and they say, you two are no longer married because you left her alone too long and this man has claim to your wife and we're going to arrest you for trying to pull her away from him at this point. Do y'all see the madness that's taking place? This is what happens when you let demon possess psychotics into leadership. There's a price to pay. New York City's paying it. Chicago's paying it. Portland, Oregon's paying it. San Francisco's paying it. LA's paying it. Who else wants to pay it? Or who else wants to come down here and live in a free state like mine? One thing I want to leave y'all with before we wrap up here because I feel like it's important. Florida has shown how easy this actually is to fix. So if this problem keeps on happening in your state with squatters, it's because your local leaders want it to happen. So what I want to do is to help each other, I'd like everybody to comment down in the comment form right below us what state you live in and how long squatters rights actually have to kick in. That way we're educated, <laughs> okay? And reading through those, I think it's going to help out a whole lot of people. Thank God I live in a free state. Because you break into my place, the first round's on me. Y'all be good.